Install Shield can also create log files for the Setup EXE and Update EXE bootstrappers. You can simply use the slash debug log parameter from the command line when you run Setup EXE. This command line parameter can be used with the Setup Launcher for Basic MSI, Install Script MSI, and Web Projects. So let's look at the release folder for MegaView 1.0. Here we are. This is the CD-ROM release. Now let's go to the same folder in a command prompt. Uh, wait a minute. Don't you just love these long paths? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to run setup right now. Here's setup in our release folder. I'm going to run setup.exe and use the slash debug log parameter. And that'll generate the log file for the bootstrapper portion of the install. Okay, the bootstrapper part's over with, so we can just get out of this part. And we see that the log file has been created. It's automatically named installshield.log. So let's let's have a look at this thing. We'll just open it. No prerequisites were installed, so this should be pretty short. Checking, yeah, we've specified MSXML 6.0, SP1, but it's checking the conditions. Um, it doesn't need to install it. Skipping prerequisite MSXML 6.0, SP1, because it was installed before the reboot. Now it's going to check .NET 3.0. Skipping prerequisite Microsoft.NET Framework 3.0 because it was installed before the reboot. So there's no prerequisites to install. So it's getting the MegaView MSI file, INI section, MegaView MSI full path. And we could go through this. It's rather interesting. Interestingly enough, it doesn't like the installation and uninstallation logs. It doesn't have really a finished message. It just ends with a setup returning this value. Which is a little bit funny, but it's no big deal. Now what you must remember here is that this is only the log file for the setup exe bootstrapper uh, when you look at the log file you see it doesn't contain the detailed information available when compared to the log file created as a result of placing you know the value in the registry which uh, we outlined in the previous movie now there's one more thing i can tell you about this debug log command line parameter you can also specify the full path to the log file so you could create it in a different location if you wanted and this is useful if the setup exe file is on a cd-rom or any other unwritable location so here's an example of that let's type setup.exe slash debug log and then 
c colon backslash uh, setup log file dot text. We're telling it where to stick the file and what to name it. So we'll wait till we get to install welcome, then cancel out of the main installation. All right, our file's been created. Now let's go to All right, set up log file text. Here we go. Here's our bootstrapper log. Same information, just different location. Another nice thing is that if your installation uses prerequisites, the login of that information will also be included, but we mentioned that earlier. Just reiterating it. So if you have a prerequisite that fails to install, you can look on the bootstrapper log and perhaps you'll glean some useful information. I would say sometimes you get useful information and sometimes you don't. It's about like the other logs. Anyway, that's how to create a bootstrapper log.